I got a new combination lock in the mail today. I got it from a, a cheap Chinese place and there's no brand on this and no writing on it whatsoever and I got it for less than three dollars US even though it's a cheap combination lock it's got false gates each well has four gates three of them are false one of them's the right one um, I tried investigating the wiggle method to see if how wiggly the the wheels were and when the wheel goes to a correct gate it doesn't seem any more wiggly there doesn't seem to be gaps between the wheels the shackles very loose but this, this is not a uh, the type of padlock that can be shimmed so for a cheap little lock it's quite good uh, value for money probably it, it may be okay on a gym locker but when I go about decoding this padlock the only reliable method that I found was uh, as, as follows so I put um, a little bit of tension on the shackle not too much and I, I start turning okay so when I turn to one it seems to get stuck and it's got there's there's quite a bit of movement and so I know that's one of the gates whether it's a false gate or a true gate I don't know um, the wheel itself moves on on top of the uh, they, all, all, all of them do that but when I turn more I get the actual core moving and it's moving quite a bit but I found that all the gates move about the same amount so I, I couldn't use that method just in case what I'll do is I'll put all the discs in, false, in, in a gate whether it's true or not uh, true or false gate I'll turn all the discs into a gate and um, you notice I started from this wheel because this seems to be the one that binds first and then going down so I'm, I'll just put the other wheels in, in the gate um, oh this one I've still got tension and this one seems to be, be um, in, a, in one of the four gates at zero this one seems to be in a gate at nine this one seems to be in a, in a gate at one quite a bit of movement there but it's entering around one so I'm going to go back to the um, now now the, the discs are in a gate I'm going to go back to the first wheel I'm just going to find the the other four gates so I'm going to release tension, turn a little bit and then a little bit of tension again I'm going to turn ok so There was um, a mighty big click there, uh, so let, let me try that again. It, it was in um, the false gate one. I'm going to. I can't turn it out, so I release the tension, turn a little bit, put on some tension, not too much tension, and I turn it. Okay, so it looks as though four is a. For, for is another gate it's quite hard to turn and then right so that's one and four so the way these um, gates work is that um, if, if if it's one and four okay so that's three away then the I know that the other gate will be one of the, the third gate will be six, four and six are just, you know, that's just two away and the other two will be the, you know, th three away from those which will be three away from four is one so it'll be nine and one so that's what I'm thinking 
um, if I've done it right, so force, negate, I'll just release tension, turn it, tension it, and and yep, sure enough, six seems to seems to get stuck as well. And so that's four and six, and the next one should be nine. And yep, even though uh, there may be a click, even though it might um, lurch into this gate, it doesn't mean that it's a true gate because I find that all of these gates do this. So in that respect, it's quite well designed for a very cheap unbranded lock. Okay, so I know that the the gates are 9, 1, 4 and 6. But which is the right? Which is the right gate? Well, what what I do is I apply a little bit more tension and and see how hard it is to turn. See, I can't turn that at all. So I don't think that's right. I move it to 6. Can't turn that at all. Okay. So it's not 4 or 6. Move it to 9. Okay. It's hard to turn, but I can turn it. And 1. Can't move that at all. So I think the correct number is 9 here. Light tension, I can turn it. If I increase tension, it's hard to turn, but I can still move it. And those other ones were really hard. So that's why I think the first one's nine. Okay, I'm going to the second wheel now. It's already in a gate. I don't know if it's false or true. If, if I'm applying light tension and I should be able to move it, and if I increase tension, can't move it. Okay, so that, that's a good sign. Um, I found that sometimes if I have the previous wheel wrong, then this one will um, in inner gate. It, it'll it'll have its movement, but if I increase tension, uh, it doesn't get any harder to move at all, and that's a bad sign. But in this case, it is. So I'm even more confident that that the first wheel is correct on 9. So let's go to the next. Let, let's let's investigate which are the four gates for this one. It's 0 and let's turn it. Okay, so we have um, 3. So 0 and 3 and so probably three's partner will be five, it'll probably be three and five and eight and zero. So we have three with um, quite a bit of movement before we get stuck, but all of them have that same movement as they say. This in this respect, this uh, this lock is it's it's quite hard to find um, to, to find its secrets to to pick this lock I found but the method of pulling hard and see which one uh, is is loosest, or, or or rather which wheel can still be turned, uh, that's the only consistent method I've found for this lock. Three and its neighbour will be five. Three and five. Now that I know it's um, three, five, eight, and zero. Let, let's try and do what I said. I'm going to increase the tension quite a bit. Okay, I can still turn that. It's difficult. Go to five. Oh, I can just turn that, but it's more, more difficult. Let's go back to three and double check. Yeah, three is easier to turn. So let's go to eight. Can't turn that at all. Go to zero. Can't turn that at all. So I think it's three. Going on to the next wheel. Okay, light tension and yep, we've got got this stuck in a gate and it's it's got the same movement as all the other gates. The only way that I can 
point out if it's a true gate is to compare again how hard it is to turn um, with lots of tension but first let's find the four gates nine Okay, that looks as though it's two, is that correct? And four, so that was two, four, and that'll be seven and nine. Seven and nine. Good, and all four gates are displaying this um, range of good range of movement and then get firmly stuck. If it, if it didn't then I'd be suspicious that I hit the wrong number and also if, if I increased tension and it didn't become harder to turn then I would be suspicious as well. But um, I can turn it with a little tension, increase the tension and it gets much harder to turn. So. Yep, I'm confident that 3 is correct. Let's see which gate is the correct one. I don't think it's 9, so I said 9, 1, can't turn it at all. If, oh, if it's really tight, I can't turn it at all. So 9, 1, 4, I can sort of turn that and six, can't turn that at all. Hmm, so I'm going to leave it on four because I can, I can still turn that just under heavy tension. So the, the last way I'm just going to turn it and see which, which is the right number and it should just open for me. Hmm. This when I turn here and then I increase the tension, it's still easy to turn. So I think um, four is wrong. So, and it's interesting. I can't turn this at, at all under tension. So I've uh, I've made a mistake on the third disc. So let's let's make sure I've found the 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 gates properly. Let's go. Go back to, um, I think I got my numbers mixed up. Okay, so oh, okay, and it's open. Um, I got a little bit lucky there. As I say, I'm a little bit impressed for this so called cheap lock less than three dollars US. It takes a little bit of patience to find the, the correct numbers. I'm impressed how it's got false gates and that's how I open this lock. Thanks for watching.